Hi everyone, in this video, I will introduce about R and R Studio and how to install them and how to get familiar with the R Studio user interface. So what is R? R is a free software for statistics and visualization. So you can run R on different platforms, for example, Unix, Windows, and Mac OS. And here's the good uh, free ebook for R, R for data science. I would recommend you reading this book. Uh, so why do we need to learn R instead of Python or other languages? Um, R is not a replacement of other languages. So R focuses more on statistic and Python focuses more on machine learning and big data. You can use both R and Python for data science. And how to work with R? So first we need to install R and then we install R Studio. So R Studio is just provide is the user friendly interface for um, our user. So I would recommend you installing R Studio because with R Studio is much more easier to work with R. So now let's go to the R official website and now download R here. So I use Windows, so download R for Windows. Okay, done. And now we just double click English. Okay. Next. 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 Next accept defaults next next okay finish and now we need to install r studio click here r studio desktop already install R and now install R Studio. Click here. It's the downloading R. Okay, done. Double, double click. And next. 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 The installation was done finished and now we can open R studio click here and open so it means that we have successfully installed R studio and I will introduce you about the user interface of R studio first open the PowerPoint so when you open R Studio, maybe you can see the uh, R source file window, the console, the environment, and the plot packages, and so on. For example, in here, here this is the uh, R source file, and this is the console and this is the environment and this is five plot packages and help so sometimes if you open R studio you just see for example the console environment and this window output window yeah but uh, here for the console if you uh, you can write your r script directly here for example x equal with two so but normally uh, if you work with a long program you should create a source file here the script file r script 
and you can save it. If I say it, my first script. Hmm. So when you save your script, you can open it later and work with it. Mm, so first, I need to check whether R Studio are connecting to the correct R version or not. So I go into Tune Global Option, and I see here R Studio are connecting to R version four point four point one, which I just installed it, so it is correct. And I can change the layout, for example, if you check in here, this is the environment connection, if I check in this box history and I apply it, uh, just wait a second, apply and see, you see the history appear in here. So you can add or remove any tabs in one of the windows in here. Yeah, apply, disappear. For example, in this window, I can remove or add something in here. Some build. Yes. Here. Connection in here. Apply here. Connection here. Yeah. History. Yes, you see the history here. So what uh, I just use the default settings. So what is the, um, this is the R script file you already know. So you can write your script in here. X equal with two, for example. And when I want to execute this line, I just click here to anywhere within this line and then control enter. So the command being executed will appear in the console window and the variable will appear in here, which is X, for example, Y to control enter. You see the command being executed appears in here and then the variable in the environment. And if we, I want to execute multiple lines at the same time, I select the two lines, for example, and control enter. Yeah. Uh, and uh, in this uh, uh, windows list uh, of all files in the working folder, in my working folder. And if I plot something, it will be appeared in here. And this is the list of own packages that I currently install. And if the bucket is being loaded, it will we will see a tick in here. And this is the help. For example, I want to find help for some functions that I don't know how to use. I can type the name of the function here. For example, I want to know help for the mean function. Yes, yeah. And you will see description of the function uses and arguments and so on some example you can also run the example in here click run copy in here for example it's run already i can copy the code here select own control run and you see yeah yeah and um, if we want to increase the uh, text size in here, we can go to view or control plus plus zoom in, view zoom in, or if we want to reduce view zoom out, view zoom out. Yeah, so this is just a very basic introduction about our uh, studio user interface. So now we can go to the next tutorial to learn more about R. Thanks for your interest.